Obviously, Trump wanted us all to see his primetime interview with Fox anchor Megyn Kelly on Tuesday, but there's a story he did not want anybody to see, and that's what I have for you right now. Penthouse pet Victoria Zudrock claims she went out on a date with Donald Trump. When Donald Trump found out, he tried to get the editor of Stepping Out magazine to kill the story. We got this audio from Chauncey Hayden. At the time of this audio in 2006, he was the editor of Stepping Out magazine. Take a listen. I don't even know who the hell she is. I never took her out. I don't know who she is. And by the way, based on her picture, I would never take her. She looks like a third grade hooker. And he says that Victoria is a penthouse pet. Just look at her picture. Not the type of woman that he would date. Uh, who the hell wants a penthouse pet? When Victoria claimed that she went on four dates with Trump, Trump calls her pathetic. She's a 35-year-old penthouse pet? That's pretty pathetic. Chauncey is the former editor of Steppin' Out magazine. He's now the editor of Metropolis Nights. And after this phone call with Trump, Chauncey decided to print the article anyway but a year and a half ago chauncey got an interview with victoria on his podcast victoria has the distinction of being both a playboy playmate and a penthouse pet chauncey played audio of trump denying that he went on a date with victoria to victoria well this is typical donald you know his he ruffled his feathers he, he didn't like the fact that i said that he's narcissistic and self-consumed and he suffers from narcissistic personality disorder she also described the date with trump he was like <laughs> putting his arm around me and like um so do you want to come up to see and i'm thinking no i don't want to see your residence at all i spoke to chauncey some more about this date with victoria he believes that they definitely did date because victoria showed him a picture of she and Trump inside a limo. I tried to get access to that, to that picture, but I, I wasn't able to, so I haven't seen the picture myself. But Chauncey believes it definitely went on a date, and he says that Victoria told him that although they didn't go all the way, Victoria told him that Trump is a bad kisser. Oh, oh come on. God. And when I was also speaking to Chauncey, oh, sorry. When just I was lost California. It's painful. <laughs> just threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> so also when I was speaking to Chauncey about Victoria, his issue is the way Victoria treated her, calling her a third-rate hooker. He says Victoria is a very educated woman. She's married, she has a family, and uh, she didn't deserve that kind of a treatment. He says the way Trump described Victoria is as if she wasn't a human being. She was just a cow, just an animal. Sibyl, let me ask you a question, seriously. Like, we're talking about Chauncey. Like, I don't know if Chauncey is necessarily credible. Chauncey. I don't know that Chauncey or point, any though. Hollywood gossip person or any point. person that's out there in, in Hollywood or these magazines, are they the credible source to evaluate the state of mind of the next president? I think it's ridiculous.